Problem. So I turn around, but only far enough, so I could turn around again and look him in the eye. Then he'd be mine, right? Right. Just before he knelt you over and I grabbed for his tail. Right? Right. I need a cigarette. Juan, forget it. I'm the messenger boy, Carmen. You don't go to their houses every day. I see the way they look at me. They think I'm less than them. They think I'm stupid. I see what they think. Ole, maestro. He can see. Tell me something. What does all this get you? You spend more time talking about them than thinking about you. Spend a little more time training at the back of the slaughterhouse, and you might get someplace. I know who I'm going to be. Chiripa, why do you always have to do that? Chiripa, 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 what chiripa? You spend half the time I spend with him, okay? All I hear is bulls and matadors. We are 19, and peace poor, right? Who's gonna help us if we don't help ourselves? Nobody, Juan, forget it. You're gonna be fighting bulls at the back of the slaughterhouse for a long time, before anything happens. I don't need anybody's help. I'll get what I want on my own. Hey, hey, it's me you're talking to. The guy you grew up with, remember? I know better. You don't know anything. Say, you wanna dance? He's worried about he hates it when you're always angry. Am I? A lot of the time. Well, you must do what you want to do. You know that, don't you?
you've been looking here. Where the hell have you been, goddammit? They call from work looking for you again. Don't yell at me. Don't yell! I yell as much as I want at you. I have to beg them to keep your job. And you come home drunk and I'm not supposed to yell? Who do you think you are? You stay away from work and think we don't know why you come home smelling like shit from rolling around in the goddamn dirt with bulls? Antonio, Antonio, please, the neighbor. I had it with him, Angustias. Look at him. Look at him. Your little one comes home at three in the morning, dead drunk, loaded with more stories about bulls and what does he care? Ask him, huh? what do you care? Tough guy. Wants to stand up to the bulls. You cannot even bring enough money into this house to keep your own mother from starving. That's what you think of her. <laughs> no, hey, one, no. Hey, he thinks he's in the ring, big brave man. Antonio, You're a joke. Antonio, Neither of you do anything about him. Go to bed. Sharifa told me about a bull, so I went. That's the truth. When are you going to stop this? You're gonna lie like your father. I'm sorry. Mama, I made three beautiful passes today. You should have seen me. He don't want to listen. It's not easy what Antonio asks. He says, look at me, look at him. He gave up a long time ago, and now he wants me to do the same. I don't want to live crammed up in a place like this with nothing to do at night except sleep because I'm too tired to do anything else. I want things to be better for all of us, even Antonio. You have to work. You must understand, Juan. Mama, I can do it. No. I... You know what it did to your father. I died. Every time he went to fight the bulls. I come to you at the kid. Oh, Mama. Mama. Please don't cry. Please. I'll go back to work. I promise. <laughs> Maybe you can find something else if you're not happy there. Right. Everybody's been through here three times and I'm still waiting in the goddamn corner. Of course, they told me only when everyone is out, not before. That pig is punishing me, you know that? Big one? Where's going? Anything for me? Take this one. Diego Fuentes! Wow! Diego Fuentes. Diego Fuentes. I'm not doing anything. I'll go with you. Okay. Bye. 
Yes? Message for Senor Fuentes. I'll take it. I was told it had to be signed by Senor Fuentes. What is it, Don Red? A message for you. He's message for you, Senor Fuentes. He says only you can sign for it. Well, come in. So, let's see it. What's the matter, Diego? Problem? No, my love, no problem. It's from Madrid about the fight tomorrow. Good. Where do I sign? Right here. This way. Good luck. Thanks. Please. He's just like you and me. Uh, Comes from a small town, no school, no one to teach him how to fight. He's a natural. You should see the way he lives. And he promised to help? Yeah. So what are you gonna do? Your mother, remember? You promised her you wouldn't leave your job. Well, maybe this will make it different. What do you think? I think a matador like him tells everybody the same story. You'll see. Next week, he'll call me. OK, but if he calls, I'm your manager. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, listen. Carlos told me about a cafe in Olivera. I can't. I promised my mother I wouldn't screw up at work. And I don't break my promise. You don't have to. It's on Saturday. We leave Friday night and come back on Sunday. I told you, I promised. <laughs> Your Mercedes, Maestro. This is my thing. Luxury. If I had a Mercedes, a house in the country, and a house in the city. No, 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 no. no. Make that a ranch in the country, 10 grand a month, and a good looking woman. To one, to one. Oh. If I had that stuff, I'd forget all this bullfighting shit. Guys like us only get that from fighting bulls, Chief. Or the lottery. If I won a lottery, all the bulls from here to hell will be a joke. I would fight no matter how much money I made. <laughs> because you're an asshole. Why do Espertaco and Fuente still fight after they made all that money, huh? Why does Michael Jackson still sing? I don't know. Because you're crazy. Maybe the guys like more. Now, you'll never understand, will you? I understand better than you think, huh? Seminary. You know, that's something you never told me. I don't know. Might be a secret. The most important thing is going, no?
they go? Do I look sad, Maestro? What did you say? I told him you're in the seminary and you need the money to finish. Pretty good, eh? eh? I make a great manager. Whoa! Oh. Silence! Silence! Shut up! God damn it! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are just about ready to bring the first bull out for our traditional capea. However, before our own young villagers begin, Father Santos has asked me to allow an aspiring novillero called the Son of the Virgin to make a few passes for us. Son of the Virgin? Son of the Virgin. <laughs> They used that when last week in my cousin's village. He knows what's going on. Hey, Toro. Come on, Chiripa. Wake up. Wake up, Chiripa. I'm sorry. It can happen to any of us.
Ay, qué lástima. <risa> Hijo mío. Ay, que se los llevan. Ay, pobre mío. <risa> Satisfied? He wouldn't have come here unless you did. You know that. Hey, think about it on your walk home, maestro. You got down here, you get yourself back. You're not driving with me. I don't want to see you. You've disgraced your family. Our life in the neighborhood will never be the same because of you. You okay? Yeah. Want some? No, thanks. I better go home. Look at that, Paco. We got a visitor. Come on. Sonia Soligan. She does is her business, not yours. What's happening, Faustino? We caught him fighting one of the young bulls. And now that bull, senora, is ruined for the ring, and your father lost a lot of money. Is he at the house? No, he went to Madrid. He will be back next week. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Come here. Go on. Hey, hey, easy. Both of you. Paco! You do that again, you won't have a job on this ranch. Come here. Please. 
Who did this to you? You're an animal. Excuse me, Doña Sol. But if we hadn't got that kid, and we sent that bull into the ring, it would kill anyone who comes near with a cape. So you have to beat him up? What will you do with him? Well, we'll put him in the bunkhouse until your father gets back. Get in the car. But, senora. Shut up. When was the last time you had a bath? Everything all right? Yeah, thank you. Not at all. I have seen a naked man before. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you. Most men are afraid of me. You're the first one I've had try to hide when I was the one who wanted to look. You could leave that stuff there. I don't need nothing from you. Anything. You don't need anything from me. And why are you here? To get away from that crazy bastard with the cattle prod. And I want my clothes. I can't let you leave here wearing these rags. I'll see if I can find something for you. In your side. You want to try some? No, thank you. My mother's pants suit you. Is she here? No. My mother hasn't been here for years. She hates Spain. Ever since she divorced my father, she lives in Paris. Relax. Come on. Sit down. For someone who fights bulls, you're pretty scared of women. I don't want any more trouble. in Seville, but I don't live anywhere, really. I went to school in Switzerland, but I didn't like that. So I left. I went to New York. Now I'm here, and I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. What's your name? Juan. Juan Gallardo. I'm so. I know. <laughs> How do you know? I heard the guys on the horses. Did I hurt you? What's the game? What do you want from me? The same thing you want. Or do you prefer boys? I didn't tell you. house will be mine, and you'll use the servant's entrance. Hey, what happened? 
You want to know? Your boss lady in there has a really strange attitude. Look it. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not one of your street friends. Show me a little respect. Say, do you really want to fight Boo? Yeah. I know a guy named Nacional. He owns a bar in Jerez. He was a banderillero. I don't know if he still is, but you should go and see him. Tell him that Faustino Garcia says hello. He might help. Thanks. Going to Jerez. There's a man there who can help me. So Chiripa's buried, and now you can take what everybody's gonna be saying. Shut up, Antonio. I have to, Mama. It's the only chance I'll ever get. If I fall on my face, at least I tried. Please try to understand. I'll send you some money as soon as I can. Look at her good one. Just put her in her grave. I'm so sorry I did this to Chiripa, God. Please forgive me. I know you went down there because he told you about it, Juan. Don't blame yourself. Chiripa, will you? Someone's going to help me in Jerez. I always tell you to do what you had to. I don't want you to feel unhappy for something you didn't try. What do you want, kid? I'm looking for the owner. What do you want with him? That's none of your business. Look, Kate, I know what you're looking for. You're no different from any of the others who came around here looking for Nacional to give them a hand. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time dreaming about bullfighting. How do you know that's what I want? And you probably don't even know why you want to fight. I know why. Oh, yeah? Tell me. I'll tell Nacional when I meet him. You're looking at him. I want to fight bulls because I could be the best. I have talent and courage. And you're modest. How'd you find me? Faustino Garcia. He says to say hello. Faustino Garcia? How do you know him? 
He caught me fighting a bull on the ranch where he works. Talent and courage, huh? Want to show me? Anytime. Lesson number one. Might not take much talent, but you'll need plenty of courage. Claim it up. What's your name? Juan Gallardo. Well, Juan Gallardo. Don't you think it's strange Faustino sent you to a guy who owns a bar to learn how to fight bulls? I don't need to learn. I need to practice. Good. Very good. At least now I know you're stupid. Let's see what happens tomorrow. When you finish, lock up. You sleep up there. That thing was eye to eye with him. Here, look here. They gave him both ears. That town never gave anything to anybody as long as I can remember. <laughs> you should sell cows, not your null, and forget about the bar. He's good, Don Jose. He's the best I've seen in a long time. He's a khaki son of the beach, but he's smart and he listens. And he has bones. Big bones. Has he ever fought with picadors? Once? Once? Once is not enough for me. I have to see him fighting with horses before I can tell anything. Let's wait a couple of months and then we'll talk about it again. He's ready for La Maestranza, <laughs> Senor Marquez. And in a year, he's ready for Madrid. I guarantee it. Maestranza, how can I put a kid into one of the greatest bull rings without even seeing him fighting? You put me in that bull ring and I'll make you rich. Is that your bullfighter? And how are you going to make me rich? By fighting, of course. He's got character. If I decide to do anything with you, it's me who makes anybody anything. You're not making anybody anything. Okay? Back to work. He only fought uh, once with picadors? There's only one thing I want, Don Jose. If you decide, my name is Juan Gallardo. And that's what I want on the posters. Balls. Here we are, Juan. The most important ring in Spain. La Maestranza. What do you think? It feels different. And the people aren't in the stands. It will be like this whether they are there or not. You're alone in the ring, Juan. Just you, the bull, and the fear biting at the pit of your stomach. The crowds will be the farthest thing from your mind. I'm not afraid. Fear is the only thing will keep you alive in the ring. Being scared doesn't mean you're not good. It 
means you know what you're risking. Not fame and money, Juan. Your life. And all those people in the stands are watching to see how close you're willing to dance with death. Fear is your only friend. I told you. I'm not afraid. Juan! <laughs> Carabato? What are you doing here? I came to see you. I read in the papers that you were going to fight. So how's it going? Not so good. I quit fighting. Why? I don't have it, that's all. Some do. <laughs> like you. So... I work in the rings. Listen, if things go good today, I'm gonna need an assistant. Are you interested? And who's going to pay him? I will, out of my share. I don't need much. And if things don't go well today, you might be paying him with your tips from the bar. <laughs> don't worry. Take my cape over to Don Jose. Yes, my son. For you, Don Jose. Thank you. Now? Where go now? Easy. Not yet. I'm going. Not yet. What happened? What happened? You gave him more this afternoon than the rest all season. Look at them. Look at them. If you ever go into the ring to face a bull before I tell you the right time, I'm gone, okay? Concentrate on the horse. Ask for a change of tercio as soon as the picador spears him a few times. Stay cool. Nothing up. This one's good from either side. I can get both ears. 
Just get out alive and don't be so reckless. What's going on? Who's fighting? Must be the new one. A guy called Juan Gallardo. They say he's from Jerez. He's not from Jerez, bullshit. He's from Seville. <laughs> and on top of that, he's my brother-in-law. You think I'm going to let you in with a lie like that? His brother-in-law? Give me a break. I don't want to go in, asshole. I don't like bullfights. <laughs> now that's original. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I hate bullfights, too. Don't cry, mother. Don't cry. See, I told you I would be all right. I prayed for this not to happen. Don't be silly, Angustias. He was great today. And people would want him to be great. Every time he's there. Every time he's there. I'm careful. Oh, I'm very careful. But I want you to meet Nasio now. The man I went to see when I left. Tell her how careful I am, Nasio. Yes, sir. He's careful. <laughs> we both lie. He's worse than his father. But he's dead. So you look after him. I don't need anybody to look after me, Mama. Hey, this is supposed to be a celebration. Eat, drink, be happy.
Why didn't you come to the house? Why should I? You've been gone seven months and I haven't heard a word from you. What did you expect? Be silly. All I did was prepare for today. I couldn't come back here a failure, especially after what happened to Zelipa. I was so ashamed, Colin. You didn't have to feel ashamed with me. And now, after so long, what do you feel? I expected you to forget me. But I never forgot you. Come in. Who is it? No one. I'm coming. How's your father? He's not the same since you died. None of us are. Look, if things keep going the way they are, do you think he's going to let us get married? After waiting this long, I'm not worried about my father. Look, Don Jose, my manager, he's giving a party tonight. Some newspaper people he wants me to meet. Why don't you come? I can't. I'm on duty. Besides, I don't know any of these people. Come tomorrow. Don't stay up too late. And don't drink too much. Come in. Spark taco. Better pack up his bags. Spark taco, who? <laughs> this kid knows bulls. And that's something you can't learn in a bull driving school. You see, every animal has his own way of being, and the only way to know about it is to address it directly. Isn't that so, Juan? What? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. The boy also knows where to plant his feet. That's rare among young bullfighters. And you haven't seen anything yet. I've been following him for years. Top bullfighters are made in the ring. If you don't believe me, I'll sell Cordobes. Right, Don Jose? I thought it was a private party. I know her. <laughs> Who doesn't? She is in the papers more often than Julio Iglesias and Lola Flores together. <laughs> on my father's ranch. The next bullfighting star. Uh, by the way, your poacher just cut two ears in the Maestranza disaster. Oh, so you're one of those now, are you? Congratulations. I don't go to the bullfights. They don't really interest me. My mother used to say it was a savage ritual performed by barbarians. Your mother was right. It's no place for women. Your mother obviously forgot to teach you some manners. She didn't have time. She was too busy working. Hold it, darlings, hold it. The bullfight was over hours ago. Your friend apparently hasn't figured that out yet. I figured it out. I prefer bulls. They have more class. Ooh, that's a new way of scoring with women. Gee, I'd better get busy and write an article on it. Leave the boy alone. He's nervous and tired. That's all. Come with me. Nassio now. What a guy. Without knowing me, gave me a place to stay, pulled me out of the villages, introduced me to Don Hussein, who is a Marquez. Did you know that? If it wasn't for him, I would have ended up like Sharipa. 
Is it true your father's not angry with me anymore? He knows it wasn't your fault. I was the one who talked him into it. He didn't want to be a bullfighter. I wish you didn't either. What do you mean? By the end of the season, I'll be number one in the rankings. Being a noveliero, I make more money than a lot of other bullfighters. And if everything goes well, I'll get my alternative. And if things don't go well? Carmen, please. I don't want to spend the rest of my life praying that a bull doesn't kill you. I want you alive. You don't understand. Should I be? Of course. If you ask any of my friends, they'll tell you that I bring them good luck. It's funny how things happen, isn't it? Without reason. I'm not one of your friends. So how could you be lucky for me? Could be. I want to have a drink with you. Invite me to your fight. I want to see you kill. One or two? Don Jose? Yes? Two tickets for the lady. Two tickets for the lady. Thank you. So you're returning to Seville tomorrow? Yes. If you win, I'm going to give you a party. And if I don't? If you don't, you won't be alive. The lady is to be desired, but... Run away from the woman. You're starting to sound like Nasio now. Well, it's just a friendly advice. That's all. <laughs> This bull should give you a good fight. Pay attention, good damn it.
Let's hope he didn't ruin the bull. The most important day of your life and all you can think about is that bitch. Think of the bull, goddammit. Stop complaining. I'm gonna be great. with the pole fight from the tall host to Ken. Don't let the plows go to your head and don't be this curious to frighten with failures. With your permission. What are you going to do, Juan? What? You can't offer that bull. Juan, what are you doing? It's for you. I hope he doesn't get reckless. This bull's too smart to fall around with. You say she was giving a party? That's what she told me. She doesn't seem to have many guests. Maybe we're early. <laughs> I doubt it. Maybe we're at the wrong house, or it's the wrong day. Who knows? Well, you don't, but I do. I'm going to call for a cab. I'm going home. What about me? What about you? You take the bull by the horns. And be very careful, because this one is very dangerous. Would you follow me, please? Catherine, 
ini ya. Sebentar gua mau pulang. Not too many people here at your party. I remember the first time you kissed me. You got better. Come on in, sit down, I'll make you a drink. I'm told a matador sometimes comes in his pants when he's in the ring. Is that true? What would you do if I was a bull? Well, there are many kinds of bulls. Some wild, some gentle, some easy, some hard. What kind am I? You know what you are, so You're the wildest, most difficult of them all. So what would you do with me? If one can fall so deeply in love with a wild bull, up to the point of forgetting everything. First, I wear you down, work you till you sweat, confuse you so I could study you. You enjoy the runs at my cape. You're happy. But then things change. I humiliate you, make you understand who's in command. Make you understand you could never win. Then I kill you. That's what I don't understand. You fall in love with me, dance with me in front of the whole world, and I'm a good partner. You control me only to kill me. Men are like bulls. They can never be tamed. <laughs> Men are the easiest animals to tame, dear. So easily fooled by superficial things. Beauty, fame, money, reputation. Fools who can't see deeper. Is that why you think I came here tonight? I'd like to know what you think about when you kill. It's hard to describe. I'm not human when I kill. The animal inside me enjoys conquering. Ten seconds later, a sadness flows through me, the sight of seeing my partner lying dead. Someone else did it, not me. You try to kill me? How far can you take it? What do you want me to do? I want you to hurt me. Dominate me like you do one of your moves. Hurt me. I want you to hit me. Make me your whore, you know you want to.
Doña Sol, the beautiful, well-known aristocrat, seems to have captured the attention of Juan Gallardo. The handsome young bullfighter has even dedicated his next bull to her. All of Spain is watching today for another brilliant performance by Juan Gallardo. Yes, it's a perfect Sunday afternoon. maintain his status as number one in the ring. Will he give us another one of his magnificent performances today? Well, we hope so. We have another native civilian fighting today, Pepe Serrano. Pepe Serrano. He's had a great season showing force and courage. Who is this kid? He's all show. That's why he's popular with the crowds. He's even more reckless than Juan was. Well, he won't last long. I hope you're right. Oh, there you are. I was about to send one of the women up for you. Are you going to be late? No, I want to get out to the ranch tomorrow. I want to see what you've done while I was away. Wait till you see it. Would you like to come with me tomorrow? I promise your mother to take her shopping for little Antonio's birthday present. Juan, we better go. Adios, Carmen. Congratulations, Pepe. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm glad you're back. Just now, I can make you sorry for saving my life. What? I'm gonna wipe you off the map. Forget it. smell of you, Matador. First thing that attracted me to you. You told me I needed a bath. <laughs> you did. I love the dirt of you. Sweat pouring out of you. I never met anyone like that before you. Or after. Why are you here, Sol? Why do you always have to ask me why? It's as if why was the only word you knew. I don't know why I'm here. Any more than I know why I went or why I'll leave again. Why is a word for people who want to believe there's an answer for everything? There are no answers, Juan. There's only now. Don't be afraid. He just wants us to know not to get closer to the hurt.
name of the Lord. So that's what it feels like, huh? That's why he didn't want me out at the ranch the last two weeks. I called, but they left yesterday. I don't know where they are. Probably at her place. Why did you do this, Antonio? What? Are you taking his side? Even when you see what a fool he's making of us all? It's time you found out who your son really is. Shut up. You owe Juan the house you live in. Even the clothes on your back. Seville is laughing at you. All of Spain is laughing at you. And you sit there telling me to shut up. Get out. He forgets about his family while he's off playing with that bitch. And you to defend him. <laughs> he's forgotten you, Carmen. Get out of here. Get out. Don't cry. What? You are like that, Carmen. What is good? It's that woman. You're awake. What time is it? It's very late. Is she the one you're with when you tell me you're out hunting? Or when you need time to yourself? 
Or is it when you have to meet with Don Jose? What are you talking about? Doña Sol, or are you going to lie to me again? What do you know about her? I don't want to know anything about her. I don't care about her. It's you. You are making a fool of yourself. Don't talk to me like that. Do you expect me to sit all day at home and pray for you while you are out having a good time, not caring about what people say about us? Do I deserve this? I'm your wife. Or did you forget that? We don't even make love anymore. Things are different. I've changed. You don't even know what you are doing. That slut has changed you! Slut? She's ten times the woman that you'll ever be. She's not like you sitting around here all day doing nothing with yourself until you decide to go shopping. And she has breeding, something that you'll never have. The people I know now wouldn't give you the time of day. And you think you are one of them? You are wrong. You are a bullfighter who's popular. The minute you slip from the top, they will drop you. You are blind, Juan. You are nothing but a dog to her. It doesn't work anymore, Carmen. Let's not fool ourselves. I left Carmen. It's better than you love the little woman anymore. I love you so. I just left my wife for you. I want to marry you. I want you to live with me. Don't you understand? We can't go on like this. I can. Look. I like sleeping with you. A lot, even. Which is more than I can say for a lot of the men I've met. You want to keep seeing me? <sighs> you gotta remember one thing. You don't control me. And understand this, no matter how many ears you cut, no matter how high you climb, you'll always be a maid's son to me. You bitch. A lady here to see you, senora. At this hour? Who is it? It's uh, Senor Gallardo's wife. The famous Carmen? It's your wife, Juan. I wonder what she wants. Tell her to leave. You'll do nothing of the kind. Be rude to your wife, Juan? I couldn't. Tell her you're not here. And lie? Show Mrs. Gallardo and Maria. Are you crazy? Get rid of her. Come in. Sit down. Carmen, isn't it? I think you know why I'm here, Senora. More or less. But call me Soul. Everybody does. Would you like some tea? A little breakfast, maybe? Well, then, what little drama do we have today? I don't want Juan to know I've come. I want you to leave him alone. Doesn't he give you enough attention, dear? If he doesn't, he's a fool. I find you very pretty. Please, senora. <laughs> My name's Sol. Please, don't call me, senor. And 
don't cry. He's really not worth your tears. You have many men. I only have one. You're asking for him back. Say it any way you want. He's my husband. Look, I'm not stealing your husband for good, dear. I'm really not interested. I just borrow him when I'm here. You've got him the rest of the time. What more do you want? Honestly, I think the problem is between you and Juan. You really should be talking to him. Reunited? How lovely. He's all yours. Carmen, why did you come here? Oh, there you go again with your silly why. Carmen, please, if wait. If you leave now, I don't want you back. Besides, you haven't had your breakfast. Why did you have to humiliate her? Do you care about her? Bad afternoon for Juan Gallardo at the Plata Monumental in Barcelona. Not so for the young Pepe Serrano, who was awarded two ears and who left the ring in triumph. Serrano is the latest hit of the season and is fast becoming a very serious threat to Gallardo. As long as your courage doesn't dry up, you get me bulls that charge well and you'll see how I get carried out of the ring on the shoulders of my fans too, like that. That guy Serrano is on his way to the top. That guy is a clown. Those weren't bulls he were fighting, they were oxen. Well, let's go to the hotel and have some rest, because tomorrow morning we are leaving very early for San Lucar. You go ahead, I want to drive my car. Isn't it better if we pick you up? No. I'm going to spend the night in Seville. Wait for me in San Lucar. In my time, this kind of broads used to follow the bullfighter, not the opposite. What kind of broads? Horse. Easy, Juan, that's enough. He didn't mean it that way. Take it easy. Just be careful the way you talk to me. Wait, Juan, wait. Just a minute, Juan. Mind your own business. I know what I'm doing. You haven't the faintest idea about what you're doing with your life and your career. Your life is your own problem, and I'm not going to give you any advice you don't want to hear. But I'm your manager, and I get paid to take care of your career. So do it, and leave me alone. <laughs> you always say talent and courage. Isn't that what you say? I've seen many, many careers destroyed because preparation and concentration were not respected. And then, of course, alcohol becomes a substitute. It happened to better bullfighters than you will ever be. Nobody remembers them now. Another disappointing afternoon for Juan Gallardo. His fighting is clumsy and lacking in courage. What if his arts we so admired in the past? He's in bad physical shape too. He even seems to be afraid of the bull. What a disaster. The crowd has turned against him, but he doesn't even seem to notice. It's four o'clock. I want to get some sleep. So go. How long are you going to keep these up? I never said a word to you. I kept my mouth shut. Even lied to Carmen thinking it would pass. What are you going to do now, Juan? You don't even have a bed to sleep in. You're on top of the world and walking through hell at the same time. You're asking for trouble.
Don't look now. I can see why Gallardo left his wife. She is something. That's more unpolite. I don't want to stay too long. I have to get up early for the fight. So go. Well, look who's here. Hello. Aren't you going to introduce us? Get lost, Pepe. Pepe Serrano. So? He doesn't like me. Because I'm going to be in the ring with him tomorrow. Makes him very nervous. The ring isn't the only place where I bother him. I'm more of a man than you inside the ring and out. Now get lost. You. Want me to leave? Stay for a drink. Either he leaves or I leave. Shut up, Juan. Why don't you try hitting somebody your own size? Oh! <laughs> Maestro. <laughs> yes, I'm his manager. What? No, 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 nothing happened, senora. He's not with her anymore. After what happened the other night. What are we going to do now? Call his wife, Don Jose. Ah, Poor girl has been through enough already. Besides, she doesn't know anything. You know what? Your matador is a disaster. Cancel the fight. He can go to jail for all I care. That must be Juan. <laughs> what kind of party is this? Did someone die? Garabato killed the top. Yes, Don Jose. Well, thank you, girls, but now you must go home. <laughs> the ladies are staying with me. We're going to take a bubble bath. But first, tell these gentlemen who you are, ladies. You are heavy, hon. We're just too tired, Hawk. Now, can we go to sleep or not? All women are whores. Go ahead, tell them. Yes, all women are whores. That's enough, Juan. The bullfight starts at six. Why do you think I came here? Now we're going to jump in the tub. And everything's going to be all right. Come on, let's go. Are you drunk? Did you hear not for me? Pepe Serrano steals that whore from you. You want him to steal your place, too? Sorry. Find yourself another banderillero. Maestro. You are drunk, Juan. You can't fight. I could fight if I was twice as drunk. It's too dangerous, Juan. I'm going to cancel the fight. You do that and I kill you. I'm going to fight Jose, with or without you. What do you want for him? I'm alone, Carmen. It was a mistake. 
It was all a stupid mistake. Nacional is gone. Everybody's leaving. I'm alone, Carmen. What do you expect me to say? Come home? Everything's all right? All's forgiven? I don't know how I'm gonna make it up to you. But I will. Please give me a chance. We tried that, Juan. I don't believe you anymore. It's too late. I'm scared. For the first time in my life, I'm scared, Carmen. No. You are drunk and you're lonely. That's all. If she calls tomorrow, you will go running back to her. You made your decision the day you stayed in her bedroom, Juan. I love you, Carmen. Please. Carmen? Carmen. Gallardo, who was the favorite until only recently, is fighting today in his native city facing his closest rival, Pepe Serrano, who's had... How did you do that? We can't play with all that noise. Last I told you to bring. Please, Juan. Give it to me. Give it to him. If he doesn't care, where should we? It's no good to think about him now, Juan. Stay cool. I can't 
believe it. Juan Gallardo, the most important bullfighter in Spain, and still the favorite. For some reason, is giving a bad performance. He seems to have forgotten the art and courage that is. Antonio! Turn that off! All right, listen, I heard you. Listen to the crowd. I said, give it to me. Juan, what's the matter? Lay off. Didn't want to tell you. Carmen is here. Where? There. Come on, Juan. Show them you're still the great Juan Gallardo.
most beautiful woman in Sevilla.